Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 31 video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure Windows Server Backup on uh, Windows Server 2019 full step by step. So basically uh, Windows Server Backup is a feature which you can enable or uh, any Windows Server to get the configure and schedule the backup so it's going to run always at at per given schedule or you can take the like single backup also if you need and in case of any disaster you can go ahead and recover your server in a healthy state by using the um, um, backup which you have taken so uh, so we are going to see how we can install windows server backup and how how to play with it and how to uh, like uh, take the backup how to schedule backup I also we are going to see how, how we can recover in case of failure of uh, like a hardware or virtual machine uh, if the virtu if the server goes bad how we can recover the latest backup which we have so let's get in so I'm using a simple two uh, servers in this demo so the first one is going to my active directory server which is win 2 k 19 dc01 and it's having active directory and DNS role on it and you can see the IP address 192.168.0.201 and my domain name is victorinfosol.local so this is here to support domain infrastructure so if I go here you can see active directory and DNS role if I go to local server you can see win2k19 dc01 this is my domain name victorinfosol.local and this is IP address is uh, 192.168.0.201 so this is my domain controller and the second server which we have is our RDS server basically where we are going to install and configure the Windows Server Backup and we are going to re restore the backup from uh, in a brand new machine and we are going to get something like how we can uh, restore this uh, backup on bare metal machine so let's get in so uh, this is Win2K19 RDS and IP address is 192.168.0.202 and this is joining my domain so here if I go here went to K19 RDS if I go local server you can see this is my RDS server went to K19 RDS and you, know, you can see the role is installed IS remote desktop services installed on this machine and if I go to remote desktop services you can see like connection broker, session host and RD web is installed on this machine and we have one uh, a collection also which is uh, office app and we have published few application here and this um, collection so this is the server which you can say in a production and we are going to install and configure backup on this machine so I'm going to click on manage and add role and features and click next and this is going to be a role and feature based installation so windows backup is windows server backup is a feature so we can go ahead click next and this is our server win2k19 rds click next and this is server role so i need to skip and go to features and we need to scroll down and then we will get windows server backup so you can see description windows server backup allow you to take uh, to backup and recover your operating system application date and data so you can schedule the backup and protect your entire server a specific volume so you have option what you want to protect if, if you wish to protect your full operating system you can do it if you want to protect a specific file folder you can do that also or volume also you can do so click next and you can see this is going to install windows server backup so the installation is does not require reboot so it's not going to reboot so get the let's wait for a few seconds here and once the installation is done we will get the management tool here in windows server backup so you can see but it's uh, installation is still running so if if we open it's going to give you like a uh, windows server backup is not installed so let's wait for a uh, finish the installation so for now you can see i have one disk attached to this server which is C drive only which is around 61 gig if I go to my disk management you can see I have one drive which is around 60 gig and the second drive I have a uh, 500 gig drive which I'm going to use as a backup drive so backup is going to be saved on this drive so we can go here and bring this disk online and I'm going to initialize this disk and initialize in GPT 
so I'm not going to create any partition on this or any volume on this so I'm going to leave it so now you can see installation succeeded on Windows K19 RDS so Windows Server Backup installation is completed now we can go to tools and open a Windows Server Backup so you can see here if I go to local backup you will see so no backup configured for this computer and you can use the schedule wizard so you can also take the ones backup ones or you can go for the uh, like schedule so I'm going to show you the first option which is backup one so if I go and click here you can see here uh, we don't have schedule backup uh, otherwise it's going to highlight so we need to click here next and what you want to take the backup full server or customize if if you go with the full server it's going to take the backup of all the drive which is available and it's going to take the backup so it's saying we don't have any specified volume so let's go back and if I if you choose a custom you, you want to choose a, a custom volumes file for backup so you can go here and add the items what you want to add like if you wish to take the backup for C drive only or any specific folder you can go he here and you can select those folder and those folders are only going to be backup so add item again you have option to take the backup of system state also and you have to option to back up a uh, bare metal which is going to be take the f complete backup of this machine so I'm going to back here and these are the all option which you can c configure in backup one so what I'm going to do I'm going to schedule backup here so backup schedule and you can go here what uh, what to backup you can take the full backup system state selected file folders or volume and how often you want to take the backup and where to stay store backup so click next I'm going to take uh, com take the complete backup of the server which is recommended and click next and when you want to backup so uh, if you wish to take a one backup in a day you can go ahead and select like um, 6 p.m. so it's going to take the backup at 6 p.m. so if you wish to take the more than one backup you can go here and schedule like uh, you can go ahead and schedule like 6 a.m. you can go and schedule 6 p.m. so whatever you want to select you can go ahead so I'm going with the two options 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and click next and we have three option to take the backup where you want to store the backup so the last option which is here which is network uh, backup to a uh, shared network folder so the main thing which we have to main uh, take it about here you can see the note that you will only have a one backup at a time because um, when you create a new backup it's override the previous backup so if you take the backup on network folder it's going to override the previous backup so you have to um, like careful when you are doing the network backup and you have an option to like a uh, backup to up to uh, up to volume so you can uh, create like uh, one partition here and one volume uh, from the hard drive and you can take the backup there and it's not going to to impact it uh, you can you can use that drive also for any other purpose so the recommended option which is here is backup to a hard drive that is dedicated for backup uh, which is recommended so we have one disk here which is basically dedicated I'm going to use dedicatedly for backup purpose which is 500 gig so I'm going to click next and you can see here it's not showing the drive no external disk or di attached disk found so if I go here and click on show all disk it's going to give me the disk so you can see this disk size is 501 gig so if I go ahead and click OK you can see the disk is attached now and if I click here next it's going to say you like uh, this disk is going to be formatted completely and and you can see the entire disk will be dedicated for storing the backup so that's fine I'm going to use this uh, disk dedicatedly for backup only so I'm good with it and click yes and here here you can see what it's going to do uh, this is the disk, na uh, disk uh, name and this is the volume what it's going to call volume name and size and user space and backup item 
Now backup time 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. File exclude nothing. We are going to exclude nothing and advance VSS full backup. It's going to use the technology VSS full backup technology at back end of when it's going to take the backup and what it's going to take. So bare metal recovery and system boot partition OS disk recovery and system state. So it's basically it's going to take the full backup of this server. So when I go ahead click finished you can see it's going to create a schedule now and you will get this you have successfully created a backup schedule um, your first scheduled backup will run on this time it's going to give you so it's currently like 6 uh, it's going to run at 3 p.m. so currently it's like um, uh, 6 p.m. is currently 3 37 p.m. so this is good and we can go here and we can close this and now if I go here and back up once you will get this option schedule backup option and you can go ahead and just click on this to initiate the backup now so it's going to initiate backup right now and then it's going to always take care whenever the schedule is going to come as per our uh, backup schedule which is 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. so now if you go through disk management you can see the volume is created here and this disk is dedicatedly for um, backup only so this is good and now you can see it's um, back up in progress and if you go in task manager in your task scheduler you will see the one task schedule is created here so if I expand this and expand Microsoft Windows and then then go to backup you will see here the task is created Microsoft Windows uh, Windows backup and status ready and multiple triggered next run which is uh, scheduled on 6 p.m. today itself and last run which is uh, given here it's uh, it's by default Microsoft time which is going to be give uh, whenever you configure a backup and you can see last result never run so this is good and author who created this uh, backup job so our computer account and if I go and open the properties you will see here when it's going to trigger if you want to add any new uh, time you can go ahead and add it and if you want to add a, any like a monthly backup or whatever and you can do some advanced trick here you can do you can do that like if you wish to uh, take the backup on you can say every month every month last date so you can select that so it's going to run every month on last date and you can also select the time when it's going to run so you can uh, do like 11.30 p.m. every so it's going to uh, run the backup every month and 11.30 p.m. and last date so you can go ahead and apply and click OK so now if I go here so if you wish to do some uh, advanced trick in backup you can come here and you can modify the backup jobs here which is going to be uh, like triggers and when it's going to run and you can always go here and what it's going to do so in, in a back end it's going to run the wbadmin.exe so start backup and this is the template ID which is going to uh, it's going to run and it's quiet so it's not going to uh, give you any like no uh, uh, display so condition we have you can modify the setting what it's going to do and this is the history of this uh, basically this job backup job which is created so you can see here uh, like NT system register task sequence like this this is the task name which was registered by system account and this because it's a windows server backup task and you can see here also updated task we have updated so this is good so you can come here and always uh, do the modification if you wish to do some advanced trick with windows server backup so now you can see the status is completed and we have uh, everything in place and i can go here and close this and now you can see the last backup status is successful and it's giving the date and time so here you can see 
well, last backup when it's run and you can see the details also if it's have any error this, so you can see the status as well also next backup when it's scheduled you can see the status so it's scheduled for uh, all the drive and status is scheduled you can see all backup how many backups you have so it's a number of copies one and the destination uses you can see the disk size what the disk size is 500 around 500 gig and how how much space is used and like backup up level how much copies we have and schedule backup what it's going to run this is going to run um complete backup and file exclude none and backup times so what is schedule here so this is all what is uh how we can install and configure the Windows Server Backup um, and Windows Server 2019 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye